Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are deriving one of the major or important derivations of the chapter ray optics and optical instruments. As you guess, it is lens makers formula. Here you can see the diagram representation of that particular derivation. Here this part this ABC and ADC represents the double convex lens. We are making derivation based on the double convex lens. Now, as I considered in all my previous derivations, the O is going to be the object position and here I is going to be image position and U is the object distance and the V1 is the image distance and I took V1. Why? Because it's a particular case which you will learn in this derivation. Now, C2 is the center of curvature for the second part and C1 is the center of curvature for the first part of the double convex lens. What I mean by first part and second part is that the double convex lens is splitted into two parts that is ABC and ADC for our convenience to make derivation. Here in this particular derivation the, radius, uh, the refractive index is N2 inside the double convex lens and N1 in the medium outside the lens and N2 is greater than N1. This represents that the double convex lens is denser and the outer part is rarer medium and this itself explains the all the parts of this uh, particular diagram. Now we will move towards the deriving part that is the mathematical form formulation of math in mathematical way for this derivation. Now we derived this particular equation that is the re relation between u, v, n1, n2 and r in our previous video. If you are aware, not aware of this particular derivation or this particular equation please go and check that without this you can't do this lens makers formula. At least you are supposed to remember this equation. Now for refraction as I told you before we splitted this double convex lens as ABC and ADC and for refraction we will take particular case as case 1 with ABC and case 2 with ADC. Now don't look at this only look at ABC you can see here the image distance formed by first case is V1 and the refract uh, radius of index uh, sorry radius of curvature for first case is r1 and image distance is u so substitute these things in main equation we are done with that that is so simple now this is the twisting part of this derivation the thing is here in the, our second case adc you can see oh let me adjust that uh, you can see ADC here the image what is image image is nothing but the the refracted image passed from our case 1 ABC itself act as the image for our case 2 ADC please do remember that the refracted image from the, our case 1 ABC act as object sorry act as object for ADC so our object in ADC is V1 and R is equal to R2 that is why because it represents the case 2. Now since here you know that the ray passes from N1 the rarer medium to N2 we did these things. Now but in our second case the ray is passing from denser to rarer medium. Denser to rarer. So what we are supposed to do? We are supposed to interchange the terms N1 and N2 in the main equation. We are supposed to interchange the terms N1 and N2 in the main equation. We are supposed to interchange in the sense take N1 as N2, N2 and N2 as N1. So on interchanging our main equation becomes N1 by V minus N2 by u u is our v1 is equal to n2 in the sense n1 minus n1 in the sense n2 divided by r in the sense 
R2. I hope you got this. If you get this, then you are almost done for this particular derivation. Why? Because understanding this particular part is a bit wonderful here. Wonderful thing to understand that. And if you know this, and if you formulate this equation two and three, then you are done. You should remember the main equation. You should formulate equation two by interchanging v as v one and r as r one, and formulate for case two that is equation three. That is by considering the vice versa of this case. Why? Because we are moving here from denser to rarer medium. If you have any doubts with respect to this. Please do comment in our comment section. Now, moving further, there is small modification required in this equation three. That is nothing but n one by v minus n two by v one is equal to take negative common. So n two minus n one by r two. This is the same. As the equation third, but we took negative outside. Now, next is all simple process. The only thing is to formulate equation two and three. Now add two and three. Add equation two and equation three. What you will get on adding? Just add these things. N two by v one minus n one by u. This part. Is adding with this part, that is plus n one by v minus n two by v one is equal to n two min oh sorry n two minus n one by r one plus here its negative sign is there, so. Minus of n two minus n one take two brackets. Why? Because we have negative sign divided by r two. I hope you know how to how to do that. In or else you can take out this uh, positive sign and directly write it as negative. Now you can see here in LHS n two by v one. And n two by v one is common, and their signs are opposite. This is positive, and this is negative. So cut them off. We are left with n one by v minus n one by u is equal to n two minus n one by r one. This is n one minus n two minus n one divided by r two. So we almost got our formula here. N one take outside. Why? Because it's common. One by v minus one by u is equal to n two minus n one is common on both side. Take outside n two minus n one divided by one. We are left with one here. One by r one minus one by r two. So now in the last step, one by v minus one by u is equal to n two minus n one divided by n one. I brought this n one to the opposite side. One by r one minus one by r two. We got our lens makers formula. I just did it. Did it in one page itself. so we formulated our equation so as you know adding part is so easy it is only basic mathematics the thing is to obtain equation 2 and 3 so i stressed more on that two equations if you love the way i taught you please consider sharing this video to your friends and please do subscribe if you have any type of doubt please do comment in the comment section as soon as possible i will try to resolve them Thank you.